So my therapist specifically works on attachment. And for the past few years, I've been unlearning my anxious and secure attachment style and pivoting to a more secure one. In addition to that, I read like every self-help book under the sun. But there's only so much that you can learn on your own. You can do all the work you want, but ultimately being in relationship, whether it's with friends, family, or a romantic partner, is how the work really becomes integrated. Relationships are mirrors. We learn who we are through relational dynamics. And what I've been learning in my dating life uh, was really what I don't want, like emotional unavailability, an inability to take emotional accountability, lack of self-reflection, and on and on. But now in my relational work, we have been learning and focusing on what I do want. And I thought this specific concept I'm learning in therapy was really helpful. So what we should look for in a partner is someone who self-commits. Looking at the ways in which a person commits to themselves can tell you so much about how they'll show up in committed relationship. So self-commitment looks like a willingness to learn, taking emotional accountability, being able to have clear boundaries and say no when needed, speaking kindly to themselves and others most of the time, taking care of their body in nourishing ways, sleep, exercise, mindfulness, actively working on becoming a better version of themselves and their words and actions have alignment and integrity. There's endless examples of what self-commitment looks like, but ultimately it's someone who's attending to their side of the street. Someone like this probably embodies compassion, kindness, thoughtfulness, introspection, passion. They're probably in a growth mindset, willing to examine their own flaws and imperfections and negative biases, and are motivated to take action to change. People who commit to the endless work of the self are usually excited to show up in partnership. And look, will they get triggered? Yeah, absolutely. partnership is trigger city, baby. But if you're with someone who commits to themselves, these moments of inevitable conflict are likely to end with compassionate resolution. Think about the times you have dated someone who doesn't commit to themselves. They stay in jobs that they hate. They don't take action to change what ails them. They complain endlessly about things within their control. They don't take care of themselves or want to be exclusively taken care of. They're ignorant of their patterns or triggers and are ill-equipped to have harder conversations. And look, no one is perfect and we should be understanding of everyone's individual struggles. But these relationships will often be fraught with conflict, difficult to navigate, and frustratingly incommunicative. My therapist said to me the other day, My therapist actually told me that I probably shouldn't be with someone who wasn't in therapy. She knew I couldn't be with someone who wasn't working on their stuff. Everybody's needs are different, but that may be something for you to consider. And when she's right, she's right, folks. So chances are, if you're watching this video, you're someone who is working on yourself. You're probably mindful, thoughtful, loving, and wanna grow and be a better person. It's really not unreasonable to want that in someone else. And since relationships are mirrors, imagine the kind of relationship you could have when that kind of intentional effort and awareness comes from both sides. I'm Anna O'Connor. Thank you to the Patreons who supported today's video. And thank you to the one person we should date, Daddy Squarespace, for sponsoring today's episode. Daddy Squarespace makes it easy for us to monetize our content and expertise in a way that fits our brand. With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue stream for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content, like videos, online courses, newsletters. They have online booking and scheduling, which makes it easier than ever for your clients to schedule classes or sessions because they have access to your availability and can reschedule schedule online. No more coordinating calendars for you, babe. And if you're a content creator like me, they have Video Studio. You can create pro-level videos effortlessly, and their app helps you make and share engaging videos so that you can tell your story, grow your audience, and drive those sales. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and whenever you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com Anna and use code Anna for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.